So Bush, what's your thoughts going into the week before a game? We look good. We look, I think we look great right now as a defense. Speaking from a defense perspective, offense looks great. They, they did really well against us the first scrimmage. We kind of did well the second scrimmage, and we're just continuing to compete. I mean, Monday we did well, Tuesday did well. So it's good to see that both sides are doing well, and we're continuing to get each other better and ready for Arizona for the rest of the season. What kind of scrimmage do you expect tomorrow? We don't know yet. I mean, we expect it to be just another scrimmage that we've had like the past two weeks. And so I expect us to be sound on defense, to fly to the ball. And for the defensive line, I mean, when they play well like they did last week, then the linebackers and safeties can just pretty much hang out and do their job. So we expect the same thing. 80 plays, maybe? 80 plays? Yeah, that's fine with us. So I think what's stepped up is the defensive line. Um, a lot of guys don't give our defensive line enough credit. I mean, we have Kairos Tonga, Corbin Kafusi, Meti Taliauli, guys who've been here for a while, and these guys just know how to get to the quarterback. And so when it comes to blitzes, because our because the offensive line has to take on those like four guys, it creates space for, for our linebackers to get to, to hit home and get to the quarterback. What about your brother? What's your impressions? From he's, he's doing well. How well? He's, I mean, he doesn't know how to drop a ball, so that's great for him. Um, he's come a long way from a guy who, who just got here, was struggling just to kind of buy into the program. The coaches kind of got him on him in spring, and he was just nominated to be one of, the one of the leaders for the team. And so he's come a long way. He's going to get better. I mean, he's got two more years. But I mean, all that hard work and effort that he's put in with Tanner Mango and Zach Wilson is, is paying off now. I mean, you see the guy, he's got the athleticism. So when he jumps up in the air, he's like 10 feet up there. So he's going to do well for the team this year. I did once, and I got kicked out of practice for that. So not doing that again. Yeah, there was. There was. But he punched me back. So yeah, we were all even out. Yeah. How about you? How do you feel? You got okay. some injuries last year. Those were all behind you. Yes, sir. Finally. About time. I mean, it's finally good to be healed and go in like my sophomore season 100% and ready to play. A little bit lighter than last year, too. Right? Yes, sir. Lost a lot of weight. We lost 15 pounds. So. Just trying to continue to drop body fat. I mean, that's the whole name of the game is you want to be able to run. And so talking with Coach Lamb and Coach Kalani, that's what they wanted me to do to work on. And I've been working on it and going to continue to work on it so I can play fast throughout the season. Without Fred, how's the chemistry work with the linebackers? Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We get along really well. I mean, Zane's a guy who not very many people know about just because he's not very vocal. But when he's when he's in the classroom or when he's just around in the locker room, Zane's a pretty funny guy. And then when it comes to Siona, everyone loves Siona. I mean, He's a loud one out of the linebacker group, so everyone, we all just mesh well together. Oh. The coaches have talked about wanting to kind of settle the two deep during this last week of fall camp as you guys get ready for the season. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys notice stuff like who's getting a lot of reps, that kind of thing, so you sort of know where you stand when that comes out, or is it still a surprise when they post it on the locker room? So, so, so the coaches, at least from for the linebacker room, they, what they've been doing is rotating um, Adam Pulsifer and Rhett Sandler right now. And so Jackson Kafusi was just moved to middle linebacker spot. And so he's also getting reps with the threes, and so is Christian. So as of right now, those are the twos, and they're kind of battling out. But I mean, uh, the guy that's on the field is going to perform. So we're fine with either of them. And it's not so much a surprise for you guys. Like, oh, I didn't know that I was running with this group. Or exactly. That group. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You, you break down the defensive line a little bit more. You spoke about how well they're doing. Could you kind of compare it with last year? What's the strength? What's the so I think the, the strength this year is there's a lot more unity within our defensive line. A lot of them hold each other accountable to sustain their gaps. And I mean, you see that with Kyrus kind of getting with Methi over the off season, and then Corbin and the defense ends like Trajan Peely, Uriah Leotawa, all in Tofa. They're just making sure that they hold each other, their gaps because they know that they're going to make plays. And so if they just do their job, then us linebackers can do our job and make plays. So everyone's going to make a play in the season. Just we need to make sure that we're not all playing for ourselves because I mean, can't do that and then try and be successful.